Hello, and welcome to Every Medium. Today, I have received a package. I saw a Reddit thread recently that showed off a very interesting old Soviet LED, and I had to buy some for myself. In one eBay trip, $14, and one month of waiting later, I had a hundred brand new Soviet LEDs on my doorstep. This package, which I may add is not a brick of cocaine, has come to me all the way from... Moskva. Russia. After what seemed like a million layers of bubble wrap, we finally had our LEDs unpacked. To my surprise, the box appears to be brand new, sealed and all, which was unexpected given their age. These LEDs are called the Al-102BM, which translates as AL-102BM for those of you eBaying along at home. Also, you see where it's stamped OTK3 on the front of the box? Apparently OTK stands for Отдел технического контроля, and the designation of OTK3 means the product was developed to a certain standard for military use. I guess they're mil-spec LEDs. Now, I'm not gonna lie, when I opened these I was barehanded, but I'm not sure if I would recommend that. Something about old Soviet Union electronics and safety doesn't seem like they would go together. I'm really hoping the foam in this box doesn't have asbestos or something like that in it. And first things first, a datasheet. These are pretty cool. I've never actually bought a product that comes with a physical datasheet like this. That being said, I honestly can't read any of it and Google Translate camera doesn't appear to deal well with this font. I'll put photos of the whole datasheet at the end of this video in case anyone's trying to play along at home or is nice enough to translate. That being said, huzzah, LEDs absolutely everywhere. It appears that over the years, the foam in the box disintegrated, allowing the LEDs to spill out all over the box. The foam's also gotten sticky over the years, making the LEDs very, very gross to remove. I'm hoping to integrate these LEDs into some of my projects in the future, even if they're not the brightest or most useful. They're interesting this outweighs all else, and I think they're extremely cool. While I haven't done much with them yet, I did test them with my power supply just to make sure they work. Plus, I wanted to know what voltage drives them the best, as I've heard they're slightly different than modern LEDs. At 2 volts, they were drawing 0.02 amps, and they were a fairly faint red glow. At closer to 2.4 or 2.5 volts, they were drawing about 0.05 amps, and their glow was much more prominent. That being said, still nowhere as bright as modern LEDs. For the sake of science, I also decided to see what would kill it. 3 volts it started to turn into a weird milky yellow or white color. At 4 volts it got a bit dimmer, but stayed the yellowish color. And finally at 8 volts it turned red, I think due to fire or heat, and popped. Now I have 99 Soviet LEDs to play with, and hopefully I can include them in future projects. If you've watched the video this far, thank you. I plan on making lots of videos about random projects I work on, fun electronics I find online, or other DIY shenanigans. If you like what you've seen and want to see more, feel free to subscribe. And thank you for watching. Until next time, this has been Every Medium. Oh, and um, here are those data sheets I promised.